Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah with another episode of Pokemon Y. All right, thank you guys so much for coming back and joining up on our awesome Kalos adventure. Before we get started, do me a favor and click on that like button because it definitely helps support the series. So each and every one of you guys, all it takes is a second. Thank you, guys. All right, so on our previous episode, we are moving forward to this... Whoa, this palace, this mansion. Wow, who the heck owns this place? Wow, I'd like to meet them. All right, let's take a look at Pokemon. Um, I did a little bit of off-screen grinding. I was trying to catch some pokes in the grass. I know I came across an Abra once, but I didn't have Vivalon out in time to use Infestation to trap him. Um, so I've been looking for him, but I still haven't found him. Flabebe actually evolves at level 19. So I stopped the evolution because I wanted to show you guys, and I wanted it to be a surprise for both of us. So with that being said, my other guys are actually starting to level up as well. So let's continue on. Hopefully we can get some uh, evolution action. Hey, trainer. Yes, you there, young man. I'll share an Oran Berry with you. Okay, thanks. If you feed an Oran Berry to your Pokemon, it will recover some strength. And if you let your Pokemon hold an Oran Berry, it can eat it during battle. Okay, that's kind of cool. How about you? Skating in the grass. Tch! Are old buildings more important than people who are alive now? Uh, someone's a little salty. Give me this Pokeball. Found an ether. Very nice. Alright. Alright, put that in the medicine pocket. Come on over. Ooh, here you go. The entrance fee will be a thousand per person. Ho! Oh, you've got to be kidding. It costs money to go inside? You see, the owner of this palace follows a school of thought that you can never have too much money. Heh. <laughs> This is how the rich get richer. Here's your entrance fee, a thousand. Oh my god, the proceeds from the entrance fee help pay for repairing and restoring the palace. Yeah, right. Probably. Oh! So I don't have a choice, he just takes my money. And I didn't even notice I had like 7,000 bucks. Dang. Almost uh, 10,000 to get swords dance. Alright, see ya. Okay, she just runs in. Well, that kind of opens up the door. How about you guys? Okay, I wonder how much money it takes to build a palace like that. Hmm, me too. I love to live in that kind of palace. Alright, is there anything else over here? Okay, ooh, a photo shot. I don't have a camera. You can call Phil the photo guy over and he will take photos of you. <laughs> sure, let's call him. Phil! Hey, what do you want to do? Let's take a picture. All right, let's move the shoot to the shooting location. All right, yeah, there we go. Let's. Oh no. Okay, wow. They weren't kidding about the zoom. Look at the zoom over here. Uh, the focus, the aperture. There's a lot of things that I don't know about. That's okay. That's the focus. There you go. Look at that, you can change the focus a little bit. Alright, me and this butler. How about that? Can I get everything in focus? No. Okay, how about that? <laughs> me and the butler. Ah, uh. oh, forget it. <laughs> uh, taking photos is something... Um, I'm not quite good at yet. I don't really want to waste too much time with that. I want to jump inside this mansion. See ya, butler! Oh, I gotta stay on the straight and narrow, huh? Well, I guess it costed us about a thousand poke dollars to come in this place. It better be good. Ooh, my low tick. Wow. Where is it? And is that Bisharp? Where could it be? My furfru. My beloved Furfro has disappeared. Oh, I remember seeing that dog in the street. It disappeared. Hey, Abdallah Nation, we should help look. I mean, if my if my Pokemon was missing, I'd be sick with worry. I know exactly where your dog's at. Okay. Um, golden statue of a knight who have served to protect this palace. 
Past this door is the pride and joy of the palace, the too vast courtyard. You can see the whole garden from the balcony on the second floor. Alright, so how do I catch that guy's dog? Don't try to sleep in the king's bed. It's Irregal. Oh, Irregal! Ah, like the. <laughs> Irregal! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, get it? Like illegal, but irregal? Hey, are you trying to use mean look on me? Wow, that was terrible. That was like a, like a a low blow to the Japanese people right there. It's irregal. Get out of here. This palace was built after Kalos won a war with the neighboring regions. I'll bet a lot of people in Pokemon lost their lives. All right, the person who made this palace must have been very admirable. This entire building has such an elegant, classy atmosphere. Hmm. What's this, a seat that I can sit down in? All right. Ooh, wow, this is the most expensive chair I've ever sat down on. I heard of a king from long ago whose garden was his pride and joy. He'd gather castle folk and hold garden parties. Hmm. Who are you? A glorious past. You need a pretty amazing king to build a palace like this. I only serve by one king, and that's King of Abdallah Nation in Animal Crossing New Leaf. I wonder if Pokemon slept in this bed. Okay. If you ask me, a good bed is a bed in which you can get a good night's sleep. I don't care how antique or elegant this bed might be, I'd probably be so uneasy in that. Uh, I wouldn't even get a wink. Alright, so this is... Hey, wow, what's Meryl doing here? Get over here. Give me this Meryl. Meryl! I'm gonna trap you right here. Talk to me. <laughs> Slow down, Meryl. I'm too tired to play. Look at these rooms. Can I go in each of these? Wow, I can. Oh, there's an item. I heard that a forbidden tome once existed that contained a secret to bringing Pokemon back to life. It's probably just a rumor, though. We've certainly got nothing of the sort in our library. Amulet coin. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Items pocket, go. Uh, I think this is it, right? Okay, so Pancham, since I'm going to be using you, item, give. Amulet coin makes you earn more money every time you're in a battle. That's right, doubles any prize money received if the Pokemon joins a battle. Give. There you go. We definitely need that, because we are broke. All right, well, I guess it was kind of worth a thousand bucks. It's like buying an amulet coin. All right, next room. What else is here? Mm, a maid. Did you find anything on the floor for me? Long ago, the king and his Pokemon would enjoy their meals, meals at this table. Okay... Yeah, nothing. Got it. A king's golden table. Wow, reminds me so much of Animal Crossing. Oh, I didn't talk to that dude. Hold on. Who are you? The view from the balcony balcony is absolutely stunning, huh? Okay. Okay. Am I forced to go in here? Wow, wow, Reshiram and Zekrom statues. Cool. And it looks like the grass is kind of in a in some sort of pattern. Do you guys see that? I I don't think I can... That's weird. Oh, and Dratini's! Look at these cool little statues! <laughs> wow, that is a pretty cool view. I'll tell you that much. How about this way? Those are just mirrors. Okay. Okay, the mirrors in the hallway reflect the scene in such a way that it looks as if there are two balconies. Yes, it does. Alright, we're totally raiding this castle in this episode. It said that the king, kings of ancient times would use Pokemon as sentries. I bet they use Pokemon with the insomnia ability since they never have to sleep. Hmm. <laughs> kings never have to sleep. A formidable bed that was used by ancient kings. Hmm. Anything? That's all? Formidable. Huh. That's a good uh, adjective for that. Alright. Ooh, who's this king? What the heck? There's a portrait of someone on the wall. Perhaps it's the king who built the palace. Interesting. And what are these Pokemon? Are these even Pokemon? Oh, these are the uh, the Bisharps, right? Or the Pawniard? Yeah, Bisharp. That led the Legion of Pawniard. Alright, Bisharps all over the place. Very cool. Some more secret rooms. Little kids. Hmm, well, according to the guidebook... What room should we look at next? I don't have a guidebook. Where can I get souvenirs in this place? You know, something like a lava cookie. 
Oh, don't talk about cookies. I'm hungry. Wow, get a look at these chairs. They're absolutely cherific. Get it? They're simply perfect in every way. What a brilliant design. Hmm. Yeah, yes. Very cherific. That was actually a pretty lame... That wasn't even a pun. I don't know. I like that other pun, though. That was pretty funny. The owner of this palace... Um, every meal is a feast. If you never known anything else, a meal like it seems completely normal. I think it would be so much better if he had a lively dinner with everyone instead of a full course meal alone. That's true. Why would you eat a whole bunch of food all by yourself instead of sharing it with everyone? Right? Did that go over here? I wonder what the king of Kalos region thought about Pokemon. Me too. Let's ask him. I feel like I'm in a dream. Alright, I still have to raid through the bottom floor here. This room was once completely adorned with all manner of gold and silver works, jewels and metals. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Get out of here, dumb guy. Unless you got something to give me, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Isn't that what we're all thinking inside? Okay, you mean Pokemon just waited here calmly? Pokemon are so funny. This room used to serve as a waiting room for Pokemon before they were brought out for a battle. Interesting. How about you? What's special about this place isn't just the beauty of the architecture itself, it's about how the paintings and sculptures work in harmony with the surroundings. Mm, yeah, I guess. I didn't go in the courtyard. Uh, did I go in this door? No, I don't think I did. I think I skipped this. And I went straight upstairs. Okay, just a bad lame. Should I be looking for something? Like patterns on the rugs or in the back background? I don't know. Okay, here's the courtyard. Wow, Golurk. And what is that? Uh, Seismitoad? Or is that... Yeah, that is Golurk, isn't it? That looks like him. I'll have a look in back. Okay. It's a statue of Reshiram, the Pokemon that helped those who seek to build a world of truth. Hmm, interesting. So there's kind of like a hedge maze over here. A giant Pokeball! It's a statue of a Pokeball added in a later era. Who are you, a battler? We're gonna fight? I heard an ancient king make rules about when to view this garden. Didn't he have any anything better to do? Wait, what did he say? <laughs> rules about entering the garden. Ooh, there's a Pokeball there. Thou shalt not steal the Pokeballs. <laughs> okay, so it turned into a bird's eye view for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, this looks like the letter Y, doesn't it? Like, it's in the shape of a letter Y? What about this? Okay, I always wanted to be a princess, but I've given up on that dream. I would get lost in here all the time. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is this a Pokemon? Come on, man. Put on your skates, kiddo. What are you doing? You're going so slow. Who's this? The statue near the entrance is Reshiram, and this statue is Zekrom. They're both legendary Pokemon for the Unova region. The Kalos region and the Unova region must have been in contact with each other. It's a statue of Zekrom, the Pokemon that assists those who seek to make an ideal world. Hmm. Alright. And Ooh! Speaking of Pokeball, give me that. Guard spec. Pff, get out of here. That's one of those in battle moves or in battle items that I'll never use. What is this one shaped supposed to be? What is this guy? Parfum Palace is a palace among palaces. You could say it's the king of palaces, the premier palace. Oh, uh, there's a dog. Did I find the dog? Yeah. Oof. Please don't run away. Abdullah Nation, give me a hand. The path over there leads to a dead end. Let's split up and chase Furfro and corner it in there. All right, deal. I'll keep it from getting away, so pick a spot for me to stand. Somewhere like over there. Over there. Let me know when you've decided where I should stand. The two of us work together. We can solve this puzzle and catch Furfro. <laughs> Furfro. All right, you stand right here. Are you going to stand right here? Yes. No. 
Alright, I'm gonna scare him upwards. What? What? You're not gonna go that way. You're gonna yes, you're gonna hide. Oh you stupid dog. Yes, here. Follow me. You stand right right here. Yeah. Stand right there. No! What did I tell you? Okay, girl. Maybe it would be better for me to wait where I can see several directions. I don't care about that. No! Are you just gonna run in a circle the whole time? Alright, here, watch. Yeah, wait right here. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to be running a circle now. You stupid dog! This is a puzzle. We have to corner it where the path leads to a dead end, right? Hmm, maybe I should wait by the entrance. I'm telling you where you should wait. Come here. You need to wait right here. Oh my god. Yes, okay, fine. Waiting here would be okay. There you go. Now you're going to go up. Good doggy. Oh my god, you girl. Why can't I just, like, control her with the D-pad? Okay, so now... Okay, got him. Okay, you wait right here. And I'll go around this way. Come on, Furfro. Gotcha! You're mine! Whew, well done. We finally caught it. Abdala Nation, you're amazing! We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel. Oh, my dear Furfro! My beloved Furfro! Could you too be responsible for my Wonderfro reunion <laughs> with my dear Furfro? How Wonderfro indeed! It's marvelous, simply marvelous. A situation like this demands fireworks. We shall put on a show. Boom, boom! My Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll commemorate this joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display. And it'll also serve as a reward for the tiny bit of trouble you went to. Rendezvous at the balcony. Do you understand? Rendezvous. <laughs> Rendezvous. Uh, you can reach the balcony in the hall with the mirrors on the second floor. Okay, got it. We're going to the balcony. Maybe Furfro would have been better off if we hadn't found it. If I were a Pokemon, I'd hate to tell to have a trainer like that. But I really love fireworks, so let's make the best of it. Let's go. You gotta follow me? Come on. Okay, so you're not following me? Alright, see ya. Later, girlfriend. Okay, you. What are you saying? What do you say? I heard in the past the king would invite everyone to the garden for parties. Uh, ooh, there's a Pokeball. Gonna grab it. Super potion, need it. Gotcha. Ooh, look at this weird... What is this pattern even supposed to be? Folks with a bug badge can use the move cut to chop down trees with prickly thorns. There's an HM for cut somewhere in the garden. Is this the HM for cut? Ha! <laughs> wow! Now we can kind of backtrack a little bit and go uh, cutting some plants, yeah? Who the heck's gonna cut, though? I don't want to teach cut to someone. Cut's such a lame move. Ugh. Which one of my guys can learn it? Do I have, like, an HM slave that I can use? Hold on. Items. Bag. Let's see. HM. Cut. Oh, no. Come on. Really? Didn't I catch a Bidoof somewhere? I so don't want to teach Cut to um, Pancham or Brakeson. Forget that. I'd rather carry around an HM slave than <laughs> sacrifice a move slot on one of my main team members for Cut. Like, I can understand Surf being an awesome HM, but Cut? Pff, forget that. Alright, here we go. Rendezvous on the balcony. Let's see some fire. How did you teleport in front of me? Um, you know, I never watched fireworks alone with a boy before.
We haven't s even seen them yet. I know I'll never forget these fireworks. Because I watched them with you, Abdallah. Oh, isn't that sweet? Wow. Wow, that was amazing. I never ever want to forget this, so I'll keep this in my mem I'll keep this memory in an album in my heart. And that was my Wonder Fro fireworks show for my fro fur fro. I assume you're satisfied with that. Oh! I almost forgot. Uh, the Poke Flute. That's right. We need the flute to wake up Snorlax. Ah, <sighs> the Poke Flute, huh? Go get it. It was Shabano Castle's treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that didn't go together. Give it to them. Here's the Poke Flute. Yeah! Now we get to go wake up that Snorlax! Listen well, you two. Always return what you borrow. That's very important. I want to make lots of memories on my journey, but I think I'll try <laughs> and forget about him. You can't imagine how stressful running this place is for him. That may be so, but... Oh, that's alright. Mr. Butler, do you know anything about Mega Evolution? I remember reading a book on that subject in the palace library. It had something to do with what you'd now call a trainer holding a mysterious stone, high, and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you to have this. Protect. Okay. That can work out. Thanks. Protect blocks opposing Pokemon's moves. But if you use it many times in a row, the chances of it not working increase. If you'll excuse me, I shall take my leave. The owner of Shevano Castle used to be friends with that guy. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? We have to be sure to give that flute back after we wake up Snorlax. <laughs> no way, man. I'm keeping that Poke Flute. Alright, well, I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Wah, wah. So, with that, we shall end this exciting episode. Thank you guys for taking the time. Wow. All right, and with that, all right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this episode with me, guys. Be sure to comment about what you enjoyed most about the episode in the comment section below. I personally love the fact that there are awesome Generation 5 uh, statues like Reshiram and Zekrom. I thought those are pretty cool. All right, well, if you didn't already, please click on that like button to help support the series. And while you're clicking away, click on that subscribe button to stay updated with everything related to Pokemon Y. I'll talk to you guys on the next episode. See ya. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you're looking for some Pokemon Y action, look no further than my channel for an ongoing Let's Play. We are uploading episodes as fast as they are made, so I'm sure you'll love daily uploads. Looking for someone to battle with? Check out my Pokemon X and Y friend code exchange video. There are tons of Pokemon trainers who would love to meet up with you for a quick trade or even a battle. Don't forget that on the weekends, we will be doing Pokemon Y live streams where I add friend codes and battle and trade with people right in front of the live YouTube audience. The last stream we had was so awesome. Go check it out. In order to stay updated with all things Pokemon Y, click that subscribe button and join the Abdala Nation.